So now that we've looked at different forms of center, we're going to look at forms of spread, although in this case they're really called forms of variation. So what happens is knowing the mean, knowing the average, isn't always enough information. Imagine this case to the right where these are two people's monthly salary. You're a landlord and Bill and Bob both come to you asking if they can rent your apartment that you charge $400 a month for. They tell you their average salary is $500 a month. Now in this case, they both seem like good candidates. I mean, they don't have a lot of extra spending money after paying you rent, but that's their problem. So what ends up happening is you think, wow, I don't know how to choose between Bill and Bob. But instead of knowing their average salary, if you had known their salary for the last four months, you would notice that Bill couldn't afford a $400 a month rent half of the time. Bob could have afforded a $400 a month rent every month. So knowing their average salary didn't help. We want to know something else. So in this case, let's look at their range, the salary range. So the definition of range is to take the largest value and subtract the smallest value. So ultimately, you're just taking the maximum minus the minimum, if you need to think of it a different way. And because you're doing it in this order, it cannot be negative. So your range is a distance and will always be positive. So let's go ahead and actually calculate it for these two individuals. So for Bill, we find his largest salary, $900. We need to subtract his smallest salary, $200. And we get a range of $700. Bill's salary can range from $700 off one month to the next, or from his highest month to his lowest month. The same for Bob, his highest salary of 550 minus his smallest salary of 440 gives us a range of 110. So we know the fluctuation in Bob's salary is not as great as the fluctuation in Bill's salary, so I'd rather rent my apartment to Bob. Okay. Let me have you go ahead and calculate range for the problem below. Your two missing numbers, 20 and 49. So go ahead, pause, calculate, and press play. Did you get 34? Now, a lot of people don't get 34. The thing to remember is you should have taken 49 minus 15 to get that number. Even though 36 was listed as the first number, the smallest number in the list was the 15, and that's the one that you should have been subtracting.